Hey fans, we're back and we're talking to another member of the Tilted Globe team, Mr. Brandon Zarco. How you doing, Brandon? Doing pretty good today. How are you? Great, great, great. Tell us, wow. you became a, a member of the Tilted Globe team. So I went to the University of Maryland, as I was kind of ripped on before, being called a turtle. But uh, no, Terrapins, uh, loud and proud. And I had experience also in, um, in, in yacht sales, actually. I've done a lot of sales and marketing uh, in, my, in my few years in the professional world so far. But since graduating, I started working with a real estate development company. And, you know, we were, we were a very small team when I started, not much bigger than this small room, you know, that we're in. And throughout the time that, we, that I was there for about three and a half, four years, we went from a mom and pop shop to truly a multi-billion dollar portfolio with several Four Seasons uh, hotels and residences that are under construction and being sold. So I had a lot of experience in sales, like I said, there. I also did a lot of acquisition work and, and, and deal structuring. So what happened was um, my family had an introduction to the, the Tremels and Siglito families. And my, my father came to me actually and said, you know, you might want to look into this, to this company because he, he he's, he's a very successful uh, attorney and, and he's very good at understanding very complex matters. But in regards to technology, it's a little bit of Chinese. So he said, Brandon, I want you to look into this. And I started talking to Joe and Natalie about it because, uh, you know, we were looking into some investment opportunities and whatnot. And when we started discussing the technology, I said, wait a second, they, they really have something here. They have something I've never seen before. And me in my, in my sales background, I said, you know what? I have a feeling that I can help make this grow. And our conversation was scheduled for only about 30, 45 minutes. And it's funny because that first meeting lasted about four hours. And I realized, I go, wow, I haven't even had lunch yet. It's three, four o'clock in the afternoon. I got here at 10 in the morning, you know, we, we've been here. And, and the follow-up conversation was, you know, we want to talk to you more about getting you involved. And really since then, it's been about six months now and I've been really happy helping us, uh, helping us grow. Wow. So some of your success stories along the way in the six months, tell us one or two of your success stories. Some of my success stories. So it's funny, you know, we, we, you end up in, in scenarios anywhere in the world where you start having a conversation with, with somebody and you realize that this is something that, that just, it, it makes sense. It clicks. I was in Israel. I, I just got back really late last night. And the other day I'm sitting there having a coffee with my mom and one of her friends who I didn't know was an Israeli performer. And we start talking and he says, oh, what are you doing now? This and that. And I start telling him about, about the technology. And he says, wait, what? You have something that, that actually allows me to do this and stream and stream my event and sell tickets to it? I said, yeah. And, and then we started talking and I said, you know what? And this is the conversation I've had with him, with, with universities, with, with, with very, very large venues or people who have performers from all over the world. You know, your fan base is not just the people who are right there next to you. Your fan base is very often people who, who can't get to you. You know, if you are a big time performer like a Kanye or whatever it is, you're not really going to the mom and pop little towns in the middle of the United States or in the middle of Europe or in the middle of, of South America. You're not necessarily going there. So you're missing out on so many opportunities for people to buy tickets to come watch you live. Now, yes, anyone can, can listen to your music at any point in time, but there's something about watching it live and being there and seeing the excitement and the thrill, you know? So the success we've had has really been that the technology kind of sells itself. And when you really are able to properly explain and package the, the, the platform to someone, they, that, that aha moment, as Natalie said, you know, it, it comes on. Wow. So now I, we've, we've talked with Natalie and, and Joe and Denovan. How does you fit in with that team? How, how does that team come together with the, with the four of y'all working together? What do y'all do that makes this technology thing that you're working with so amazing? So we each have our own, our own strengths. Um, you know, my, a lot of my strengths really come in on that sales and marketing side and deal structuring and, 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 and negotiations. That's where a lot of my, uh, my, my skill set comes in. But 
we're a team. We're, we really are a team. We pick up where the other one leaves off. We, we, we support each other, even in something that, that Dinovan might be very strong, and I'm trying to help him wherever I can. You know, we were at a conference uh, uh, pitching to, to people left and right, trying to explain the technology, and just because someone approaches Joe first or approaches Dinovan first, we all come together because we're a team. There's no, there's no oh, I wear the crown of this, so I'm doing that. You know, everyone really is out to support each other. Great, great. Now, where do you see y'all going in the future? Where do you see the, the platform taking off to? You've already created something that uh, a, a lot of people don't have and uh, something that we all need. What do you think this technology that y'all use and where is it going to go next? So it's funny you ask that question because when the internet was created, you could never say, where is it going? Because it has never existed before. I can't tell you that I want this to be a Netflix or an HBO because this isn't a Netflix or an HBO. It's nothing that has ever existed before. So I can't give you where I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be at a level past where anybody has ever seen any technology of this sort. It's not even of this sort because it's never existed before. But it's going, I think, surpass where any level of technology has been before. It's going to truly connect the, the world in ways that it never has. I mean, it, we're talking music, we're talking movies, we're talking conferences, we're talking sports, we're talking doctors, anything you possibly want from anywhere in the world, you will now be able to see it live in a secure non-broadcast setting. Where technology can truly be and, and being able to deliver content in ways that's never been delivered before. Well, it's been awesome uh, sitting down, talking to everybody on the team. I mean, it's been amazing listening to the concept that you guys have uh, come up with. And uh, I hope that our fans out there all were listening and uh, somebody else can uh, take what they learned from you guys and, and, and put it to work somewhere, too. And hopefully Tilted Globe and inspire a lot of our youths uh, to get up and do some great things. Once again, I'm Dwayne Wade Sr. from Take a Stand and my co-host Patrick Reynolds. Uh, we've been talking to the team of Tilted Globe. We'll be back next time with a new segment, and hopefully you'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs>